This year's US Open marked another step in the build-up to the latest edition of the Ryder Cup. Dustin Johnson's win at Oakmont all but ensured his place in the US team for the clash at Hazeltine. He and Jordan Spieth will be the focal point of a side looking to win back the trophy for the first time since 2008. Golfing World went behind the scenes on the Golf Channel set at Oakmont to meet former world number one turned television pundit David Duval. On a golf course that is D for hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to hear you say that a little bit, Brandon, because when I walked on the grounds yesterday, I was like, oh, we're back at a US Open finally. Here we are. The 2001 Open champion made his Ryder Cup debut at the 1999 Battle of Brookline and came away astonished by how the competition affected him as a competitor. And look at David Duvall, the man who earlier in the year had referred to the Ryder Cup as an exhibition is now exhibiting all of the qualities of a man who has changed his mind. The Ryder Cup experience in, in playing is, is different than <clears throat> most any other event you play in. And, and the best way to describe it is, you know, you, you hear players talk about being nervous on Sunday, having a chance to win golf tournaments, maybe nervous when they start, nervous towards the end of the round on, on, on typical Sundays trying to win the golf tournament. You have that feeling as soon as you set foot on the grounds for the whole week. Uh, and certainly, once the matches commence, uh, the nerves never go away. There's a lot more riding on it than just your own outcome. And, and that's why I think everybody's so worked up about it. Now 44, during his career, Duval played in two Ryder Cups. He's done it. Oh, what an excellent putt from David Duval under pressure. He makes four and he picks up the Marker of Darren Clark, and uh, Duval and Clark finish all square. Europe get a half point, and so too do the Americans. That half singles match against Darren Clark in 2002 was Duval's final Ryder Cup appearance. This year, one of his former teammates, Davis Love, has been chosen to lead the US team. He was first captain at Medina four years ago when Europe staged their own Brookline-style fight back to win by a single point. And his reappointment, this time, was greeted with mixed feelings. Bringing Davis Love back as the captain, uh, initially my reaction was uh, negative. I, I didn't necessarily think that was the right thing to do. Uh, but, but we're asked that question basically immediately after it happens. And as I sat down and thought about it a little bit, I, f I felt like that's probably the right thing to do because certainly going through the experience he went through as a captain, you're not going to make any of those same mistakes again. See, the, the one and done aspect of captaincy, uh, I don't think is always the best thing, uh, because certainly it's, it's, a, a, it's an emotional filled event. You, you do the best you can, uh, but you certainly can learn from your mistakes like we, we all do. So I think bringing him back would be a good thing. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is David Duval. At the turn of the century, Duval went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tiger Woods at the summit of the world rankings. The 14-time major champion will be one of Davis Love's vice captains, and many people are interested to see how Tiger deals with not being part of the team as a player. Having Tiger, I think, as a vice captain, especially since the, the, the team is going to be a, a bit young, they're gonna, I think there's going to be a substantial number of rookies, at least that potential. I think it's a good thing because those experiences can be relayed to these players and, and you can talk to, he could talk to the players about uh, the feelings he's gonna, they're gonna have, uh, the situations they're gonna be in during the course of the matches. Uh, all those vast experiences, that the, the well of which he can uh, draw upon it, it, is only a good thing. Along with the resurgent Dustin Johnson, America's new talisman is likely to be Jordan Spieth. Davis Love is expected to build his team around the 22-year-old Texan, who made a promising debut at Glen Eagles two years ago. It's hard to imagine that Jordan Spieth won't kind of be the, the foundation of the, the American Ryder Cup team moving forward, certainly one of a couple of the foundations as a young player. And, and you, know, you, you foresee a career that's long and, and great in front of him right now, and, and that entails Ryder Cups. And so he's certainly going to have to kind of take that on, uh, uh, take that burden, shoulder it, and, and make the most of it.
Each player's strengths in the Ryder Cups uh, are, can be shown in different ways. Jordan Spieth is a putter, is a pitcher of the ball. It, it, in the foursomes, it's a great, a great asset because of getting out of trouble, because of the uncomfortableness of those pairings. Happened to be my favorite uh, format was playing the foursomes. Uh, in the four ball, you know, having a player like that who makes so many putts, you know, he just kind of frees up his partner to, to really get after it. Johnson, on the back of his recent US Open and WGC wins, will make his third Ryder Cup appearance. His celebrated power off the tee, perfect for the Ryder Cup. When you're competing uh, both in foursomes and four ball with players like Dustin Johnson, it's a tremendous advantage. Always has been in the game of golf, always will be. Distance, you can't, you can't replicate it anywhere else. You can't make up for it with putting, you can't make up for it with pitching. Um, if I'm playing the golf course 30 yards closer to the hole than you are, I'm probably going to beat you. And so, if those guys are driving it straight, they have a tremendous advantage, especially when you get onto par fives that they can reach, other people can't. Um, and so you're kind of almost in a hole already as you tee off. Another of Duval's former Ryder Cup teammates, Phil Mickelson, has been a member of every US team since 1995. He's all but guaranteed to make his 11th appearance. After criticising his captain, Tom Watson, following defeat at Glen Eagles in 2014, Duval feels it's time for Lefty to let his clubs do the talking. I certainly believe that uh, Phil's uh, outspokenness after the last Ryder Cup uh, has put him in a position of he needs to kind of put up or shut up himself and, and, and play really good golf and have a, have a great match. And I, I, I just had that sneaking suspicion he will. What you saw from Phil was frustration with, with the outcome of what had been going on in the Ryder Cup because we pour our hearts and soul into it when we play and, and you don't get the desired result. Well, you're, not, you're none too happy about it. And so it was just a, 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 a situation where I think he I thought that the course of the Ryder Cup and how the American side went about it needed to change. And he was vocal enough and courageous enough to speak up. It's just under three months now until this year's contest, but anticipation is clearly growing ahead of what will be the 41st staging of golf's premier team event. Well, being at home uh, in the United States playing this edition of the Ryder Cup uh, hopefully is a great advantage for the American side because, uh, you know, frankly, they need to win. It's, it's time to win it, win it again and, and change what's been going on and, and certainly are going to have a huge uh, fan support up in Minnesota and I, I expect nothing less than great golf.